North Carolina, Mark Robinson. Thank you, thank you, thank you. First, first and foremost, I want to give thanks to my Lord and Savior Jesus Christ for giving us my life and health and strength, allowing me to be here and allowing us to live in this blessed and prosperous land. I am Mark Robinson. I am the first black lieutenant governor of North Carolina. And come November, I plan on being the first black governor of North Carolina. But I'm one of the political elite. I grew up poor as the ninth of 10 kids in Greensboro with an alcoholic father who beat my mother. I'd love to tell you that I graduated from high school, found success, never worried about money again, but I can't. I lost two jobs, two manufacturing jobs because of NAFTA, which by the way, Joe Biden voted for. Politicians in DC made bad decisions. And people like me suffered. I lost my car and my house. I was desperate. But you know, my story isn't unique. A couple of months ago in my travels, I stopped at a gas station. As I was leaving, a man walked out with a beard. He looked very stressed. He got in his car, and I could see him holding an envelope. My heart dropped, because years ago, I held one just like it. It was bankruptcy papers. I could see the fear on his face. And it took me back to lying awake at night with that gnawing worrying, debating which bills weren't going to get paid. Unfortunately, many families today are having that same experience. Under Joe Biden, grocery prices have skyrocketed and gas has nearly doubled. In North Carolina, factories just like the one I worked at are closing, leaving families feeling hopeless. But there is hope, and I'm proof. My wife and I never gave up. We kept our faith. We worked hard and made it through those tough times. Now I stand before you on the verge of becoming the first black governor of North Carolina. As governor, I will not forget where I came from or the struggles of the people I meet. And you know, there's someone else who will fight just as hard for you, President Donald J. Trump. The brave heart of our time, President Trump has our, had our economy roaring. Gas was up below $2. Unemployment was at a historic low. People could afford homes. And we had a president who protected manufacturing jobs. <laughs> Under President Trump, the American dream was alive and well. Under President Trump, there was hope. And we need that now more than ever. So this November, Let's select the brave heart of our time, Donald J. Trump, to get our economy back on track, restore the American dream, and make America great again. God bless you all, and God bless the United States of America. Thank you.